It's another day, another five-minute fix, and I'm Alex Garrett. Uh, first of all, big kudos to Cision uh, Publicity. I mean, I guess that's what you call them. They are a media database, and uh, they have included uh, my contact info as a podcaster on their uh, Cision website. And guess what? We're getting some results. We're getting pitches from different people, hoping to have those people on. Maybe even a billionaire uh, who's trying to put money into the metaverse. Um, we've got actually another interesting thing. Do you know Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code is being called a fraud by someone who wrote a book called The Vatican Boys in 1997. And he's basically saying, Dan Brown, I'll give you the author name in a second is basically saying that Mr. De, uh, the Da Vinci Code was ripped off Jack Dunn. He's the author that, according to Newman Communications, was devastated to discover Dan Brown had stolen the Da Vinci Code story from his novel, The Vatican Boys. I definitely want to get Jack on to see if what his uh, status is. It's getting some media attention, and so we're working on that. Uh, And then we've got another guy who actually survived the Russian invasion of Latvia. Yeah, there is some stuff going on with that. I figured that story could tie into what's going on in Ukraine. Of course, May 9th ended up being a bit of a flop for Putin as he didn't take all of Ukraine by then. Could not really claim victory of that on Victory Day, which is, I think, a win for the world how strong Ukraine's defenses continue to be. But then today, my five-minute fix is on this. There's actually an act called the Americans Act that has been introduced in Senate by Ted Cruz and 13 of his other colleagues, Marco Rubio, Josh Howley, Roger Marshall, Ron Johnson, Mike Crapo, Kevin Kramer, Senator Rand Paul, John Hoven, James Langford, James Rich, Rick Scott, Mike Braun, and Steve Daines. It's going to be a bit of a controversial bill, but it might make sense. It's called the Allowing Military Exemptions, Recognizing Individual Concerns About New Shots. What shots? The COVID-19 vaccine. It introduces accountability measures in response to the Department of Defense's efforts to undermine transparency. This is what the uh, Ted Cruz office sent out today. First of all, I don't know of a bill that's been called the Americans Act for a while, and it kind of hits home. And by the way, this is Military Month, Military Appreciation Month. And so, should this bill be highly considered? I think so. I love the recognizing individual concerns about new shots. I mean, they're asking us to do four different shots. And they're they're asking us to do different shots still as Fauci goes on TV and says, oh, the pandemic's done. Which is it? And so this bill would require the Secretary of Defense to make every effort to retain unvaccinated service members, strengthen mem- uh, language to ensure service members receive discharge qualifications commensurate with the record of their service, requiring the Department of Defense to report the number and type of COVID-19 vaccine religious exemptions that have been denied and grant an exemption from COVID-19 for service members with natural immunity. This act would protect academy students and reserve officers training Corps ROTC members in the same way. So there is no doubt that this bill um, would make a difference, would actually hold the Department of Defense accountable. Personally, I am for at least getting the first two. But after that, If you're not immune by shot number two or even three, I don't know anymore. I don't know. 
So, to say athletes could play without being vaccinated, to say that entertainers could play at the Garden without being vaccinated, but to kick someone out of the military for not being vaccinated. Those two don't add up. I'm a Libra. I want balance. I want to know, and by the way, Rob Astorino was marching with a whole bunch of healthcare workers who were fired uh, for the vaccine. And remember, they were honored just a year ago by the whole state, the whole city. But they didn't go with the agenda and they got fired. What can I tell you about that? What can I tell you about that? So allow healthcare workers who have given their time and their energy and even their immunity a kick in the butt while doing those shifts, allow military members who have legitimate concerns and legitimate reasons not to be vaccinated to serve on the force. And maybe, just maybe, we can recognize Americans with the Americans Act. I'm Alex Garrett. A little bit longer tonight, but that is the 5-Minute Fix for Tuesday, May 10th, 2022.